Don't worry, Farmer Nick, we'll learn about water soon. But if you want to learn more about plants, we have to go back to the very beginning. To the beginning of what? Of life as we know it. It all started with a seed. Have you met plant the botanical sensation? Giving Farmer Nick a green education. From soil to sun, they learn together. They're plant explorers, there's no one better. So grab your garden tools before our team song ends. We're on a plant adventure with new friends. Hi, plant. I didn't know you liked to dance. Hi, Farmer Nick. I am not dancing. I'm growing. Sure looks like dancing to me. You look like my mom when she does her Zumba classes. This is not just a Zumba class. I'm growing. Growing? But that's not how plants grow. Okay, Farmer Nick, if you're so smart, how do you think plants grow? Well, plant, I did my own research and I think it's the magical garden gnome. Oh no, not again. The magical garden gnome may be sneaky, but he comes in the middle of the night and sprinkles seeds all over the ground and helps them grow and sprout. You must be joking, Farmer Nick. I am not. And do you know what makes them grow even more? What? The magical garden gnome has special dust that he sprinkles all over the seeds, and then they start to dance. Oh no, Farmer Nick. Where did you learn all this baloney? The internet. Of course. You mean it's not true? That is quite the story, Farmer Nick. But let me tell you how plants really grow. You see, all seeds have a little wiggle inside them, and they need the right conditions in order to grow and show off their dance moves. I've got dance moves I can show you, plant. Not yet, Farmer Nick. But how about we do a little experiment to see how seeds actually grow? Okay, let's do it. First, you need plates, paper towels, water, and a few seeds on the table. Take your paper towels and wet them down just a little bit. Ooh. Are you doing it? Let's do it. Okay, good. Just like this. And then if you have any extra water, I want you to be able to squeeze it out. Like, squeeze. Hold on, just give me a second. Just. Place the damp paper towel on the plate and sprinkle your seeds over the top. Like this plant? Yes, very good. Now take your plate and put it on a sunny, warm windowsill. I'll put mine in a cool, dark fridge. Now what do we do, plant? Do we wait for the magical garden gnome? There is no magical garden gnome. Over the next few days, watch as your seeds begin to sprout and grow. This is called germination. A few days? I have to wait another few days for germination? Ugh. Patience, young seedling. Plants are slower than humans like you, but that's what makes nature so beautiful. You're right, plant. I can wait. Why don't you take a nap again? Great idea! Several days later. Oh, did I miss him? Did the magical gnome come? Are the seeds sprouting? There is no magical garden gnome, but look at your seeds. Did you see which ones grew the fastest and strongest? It looks like the seeds that were in the warm, sunny spot grew a lot more than the seeds that were in the cold, dark spot. That's great, Farmer Nick. Seeds germinate best when they have lots of warmth and sunlight. And don't forget about love, plant. Lots of love. Sure, Farmer Nick. Love helps too, I guess, but it's harder for them to germinate when it's cold and dark. I don't like dancing in the dark or the cold either. I understand now. It's all about the right conditions for seeds to grow. Exactly. Now you understand. I really do wish there was a magical garden gnome I could dance with. I just want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. That's great, Whitney. But why don't we do the seedling dance together? Great idea. How do I do it? Let's do it. The 
This is the best day ever, plant. Can we do the seedling dance again? Oh, I need a break. I am so hungry. Good idea. I'm starving. How about some broccoli? Ah, Bradley! What did you do to Bradley? Who's Bradley? Never mind. Plants don't need fruits and vegetables. We get our food from the sun. The sun? But it's all the way up in space. How does it deliver you food? Seems like we need a lesson on the sun, Farmer Nick. 